Yo, what's going on, and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. In the last one, we explored a lot of areas. We did this high road cave here, which had a giant boss in it, um, and gave us a interesting item, a lot like Flynn's Ring from Dark Souls 3, where the lighter your equipment, the more AR you get. But it didn't really seem that relevant for us. It's not a whole lot of AR. Um, then we ran all the way over here. We made it to the Summon Water Village outskirts. We fought a boss in here, which was the Tibia Mariner. Um, and then we went up here, went to the Smoldering Church, fought an invader up there, and we started to go into Kaelid, and then we decided to turn around after we found that statue and stuff. And upon turning around, we decided to start heading down to here, where that D character told us to go for the bestial cleric guy. Um, and on the way there, we found the Gale Tunnel, which we are in right now, and we haven't actually started exploring it. So we're going to check out this tunnel. Um, looks like there's Pot Man immediately. I don't know if he's an enemy. He looks like he's got his arms crossed, so he might be Alexander. Ah, oh, I hadn't expected to see your face again. Are you heading to the Festival of Combat too? Oh, no need to be coy with me. Judging by the fine wallop you gave the old backside earlier, I would venture you're something of a warrior yourself. The mere thought of such a festival gets the blood pumping, eh? According to my calculations, passing through this road should lead us to the Kalid Wilds. But, however you slice it, it seems we've reached a dead end. I'm sorry to have raised your hopes. It seems my calculations must have been off. Hmm, so this, like, I, like I was saying in the last one. It's Mythic Stone 4, yeah. We're not supposed to go this way, very obviously. But very similar to Ziegmeier, right? Uh, we can't actually do this. It seems like we'll have to come from the other side to let him in. Which, if you remember, there was a little like tunnel emblem up on the hill that we were trying to get to last time. That must be where we have to go on the other side. This is the rear entrance. So we'll have to go there through the main way, come here and let him in. But that's for a much later time, because even right here is a smithing stone 4. So that's not what we're trying to do. We'll just remember that that's a thing that we have to do. I guess maybe we'll even mark it as a quest. With our little quest flag here. So we know that once we actually go to Kaelid, that's going to be one of our first stops to make sure that we can get um, Alexander to come with us. Because we want to help Alexander along his quest as much as possible. And I mean, if we regularly check in... When it seems logical. I mean, it's hard to check in on a character that moves around a lot, right? But uh, we should find him there, and then as long as we haven't progressed too far into Kaelid, because he's just going into Kaelid and then south. So we'll remember that, and hopefully we can use that to follow him along his quest, because right now he's in a side dungeon, which I wasn't expecting to see. But it also makes sense, right? Because we can't go through that dungeon. But we'll have to open up the path for him. Even though we never are actually going to have to do that dungeon, it'll be completely optional. But it's good that we found him now. I mean, that was obviously a spot on the map that I was intrigued with. Um, so I was definitely going to go there, but who knows if we would have already started exploring Kaelid, uh, before we actually made it there. So we're looking for any more dungeons. I doubt there's actually going to be any, though. Considering that dungeon that we found, I would be a little surprised to find any others. What is going on here, by the way? Why are there so many wolves right here? I mean, I guess I'm gonna fight you. Really? You guys just jumped off the cliff? Like, are you serious? I 
that move retreats enough to where they can actually uh, hit your shield and not let you hit them back. Even with just a basic attack and not a block counter. Or guard counter, I don't remember what it's called. What is the point of all these wolves, though? I don't actually see a point to this. We're just kind of murdering wolves. They didn't seem to be guarding anything. Okay, we're pretty much done with this little plateau area. Yep, this one's all done. So where are we exactly? Okay, we need to get down there. Also, did we do that? We did not do that. Because I don't think that area was reachable. Hold up. So maybe these wolves were guarding something. In the, this uh, torrent wind thing, you get us to another area. Right there, maybe. Okay, not really. How do we get there? From up top, maybe? Or you think we can just make this jump? I'm thinking we can't just make that jump. I think we are fine. Okay. Spoke too soon. We were not fine. You know, I looked at it and I was like, this is a little bit far, but I think we can make it. And then we started falling and I was like, we're falling for a little bit longer than I had hoped. Uh, and then we just died. Unfortunately. So where was that exactly? We gotta get up to the top. There should be a torrent right here, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 just check our stats. We did lose the greater rune effect. Okay, now we know. If you die, you lose the effects of the greater rune. It sucks that we died in such a stupid way too. So yeah, we can use that again. So we'll keep that in mind. We probably don't need to use the greater runes unless it's actually necessary. I kind of hate that mechanic, not gonna lie. Unless there's a way to get infinite greater rune or those those rune arcs, these things. And we've already killed you. We don't care about you, Mr. Beetle. We just want to be able to survive this fall. Which seems like you should use these things, huh? Probably would have been easier to just drop down, honestly. Did that mosquito just die to fall damage? <laughs> That's kind of funny. We've been over here. Oh! Hi! Uh, there's a giant bear down here? Hold up. I didn't mean to do that, obviously. I would... Okay, I thought we were over here. Okay, um... 
Let's get out of here, teleport to the other place that's closer. Okay, now we can teleport. Teleport over here. can't believe I did that. I just pressed B. I'm not sure why I pressed B. I think I was, like, getting ready to sprint. Which would have been fine if we were not on Torrent. This is just too risky on Torrent, but... Because he just moves too quickly. There was a bear down there, huh? A giant bear that had been fighting some wolves. So let's mark that. As enemy to fight down there. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I realized too late that sprint jumping was going to take me too far. And then height is over there on top of that thing. Is that correct? Yes. So, was it worth it to come here at all? Let's find out. Alright, far too difficult to grab items while on Torrent's back. These always just have a lot of runes. I'm not really sure why. It's like in this game you get... Like, technically there's infinite soul items, right? Because you can find these in respawning areas. But then, like, these give you a bunch of them, too. Oh, rune 5. Nice. But, like, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't care about souls. I could go kill enemies if I needed runes. I keep calling them souls, but... If I wanted to level up, like, I could... I can find an efficient way to level up, I'm sure. So that'll get us back. Yeah, I don't see any purpose to this other than all those items. Oh, let's go down. We've already been here, right? Yeah, this was the area with the wolves. Ooh, there's a, a little dung beetle down there, and that isn't a red one. So we gotta get down there and kill him. And then we already explored up to there and saw that we wanted to go on this beach whenever possible. So we shouldn't need to go that way. See if we can get this dung beetle. Oh, you can hear him from so far away. Ash of War Sacred Blade. What does that do? Um, grants armaments attack holy essence and fires off a gold blade projectile. The armament retains its holy essence for a while. Usable on melee armaments. No whips, fists, and claws, though. Sounds cool. I mean, that might be something that I would use to, like, temporarily buff my weapon with the weapon skill. Instead of having to cast a spell for it. Hey, wolves. Okay, so are we going to the bear right now, then? I kind of want a Sight of Grace down here. I'm not sure where I would find the Sight of Grace. I suppose there could be one in here. There is. Or at least on the other side of it. Okay, it's inside. Third Church of America. Hold up. We've heard of this place before. That should be a Golden Seed or a Sacred Tear. One of the two. Or that. That's a gold item. So that must be important, right? 
Flask of Wondrous Physique. Oh, maybe that's what it was talking about? You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor Erd trees and elsewhere throughout the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two crystal tears in the Flask of your Wondrous Physique. This will allow you to create elixirs with various custom effects. Crimson Crystal Tear. Flask of Wondrous Physique. So was that what the note was talking about? Now we have a flask. We'll have to check into mixing that, because we have a few things to mix. Where was the note? Here. Okay, yeah. This is the note. So, we found it. What is this? Though? Sacred Tear. It's under upgrade items? Does it upgrade our flask, maybe? Improve Sacred Flask's potency. So they just put an upgrade for the... Oh, no, 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 this is for the regular flask. Hold up, hold up. We got all kinds of stuff. Do we have a level up? Not even close. So, we can't add a charge because we don't have golden seeds. We can increase the amount that it heals. And then let's check on this thing. Oh, we could talk to Melina again. With this menu, you can mix two crystal tiers in the Flask of Wondrous Physique. This will allow you to create physiques with various custom effects. So, restores half of total HP in mixed physique. Okay, I mean, we'll take it. What's the other one do? Temporarily boosts one's strength. Seems good. So we need to equip that. Oh, it's auto-equipped. But I want it over here. Where is it? Oh, there. And then... I mean, are we gonna keep... We never use this... This item ever. <laughs> the mimic thing. It doesn't work, like... You could probably sneak around a little bit with it. But it seems more like a, a PvP thing than a PvE thing. So we only get one use of this, though? Is that correct? Let's let's find out. It probably replenishes, I hope. Okay, did it replenish? Yes, okay. So it's probably like an extra heal right now as well. Let's talk to Melina and see what's going on. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Yeah, why not? Very well. In Marika's own words. My lord, and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar, where ye will live and die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. That didn't seem very useful at all, not gonna lie. Shall I turn your room? Let my hand rest up. I find it cool though that if you talk to her, then all of a sudden your level up, um, she interacts with you for it. Curious if she has like anything to say about the other stuff. Guess not. So did she come back here? Nope, she's gone again. I find that so weird. That she has like dialogue for leveling you up, but it only happens if you try and level up right after talking to her. And she only she only rarely talks to you. She's only talked to us three times in total.
Okay, so we're pretty close to that. We should go fight the bear first, I think. I guess we'll fight this giant first. Oh, that hit me. All right, fair enough. Okay, I'm just playing badly, I guess. Too early. All my timings are off. been over there before because that's where we found a height. We need to get another Baldix Blessing. We should fight the bear while there's still wolves to fight probably. Although we've already fought the bears, haven't we? Wolf! You know, you guys are idiots. If you die, it's your fault. I got grabbed because I was getting attacked by the wolves while I was trying to attack the bear. Okay. Yo, wolves, you guys are stupid. I'm helping you fight the bear that is literally just slaughtering you. Oh, it desummoned my guys, too. You guys are like, fudge off. Like, you're actually making this fight impossible by being complete idiots. This is ridiculous, by the way. The fact that the wolves are just going for me. What a joke. You have no survival instincts at all? I almost like I just need to kill the wolves because otherwise they're gonna ruin the fight. Oh. Well, he got knocked down. That is not a lot of damage. Ouch. Did you... Like, you're the last wolf left, but you're really still just going for me, huh? Stop doing that. The ultimate baby move from this giant bear. Well, that's not good. I got some problems. There was a grab. Oh, one hit. Are you kidding me? Get over here. There we go. seemed more difficult than the other bears we fought, but maybe it was because I fought the bears with my allies. Whereas these wolves are just stupid. So that's all that's here, huh? I expected a little bit more.
I also didn't expect uh, my guys to not be allowed to enter the area. That was kind of lame. The that emblem is completely gone. Did they get one shot or something by the bear? I thought they'd be tanky enough to not be able to get one shot. Is there something here? I don't know what happened to them. It seemed like the the summon icon wasn't there while I was fighting the bear. Um, but it was there before the bear, but now that we've killed the bear, it's no longer there. <laughs> that sounds really funny, because it all rhymes. So the only unfortunate thing about our uh, physique potion being both a buff and a heal means that we kind of need to wait till we're injured to actually use it at the moment. How far along this beach can we run? But yeah, like, it only makes sense to use it after we get injured. We should probably remember that and, like, use it as our first heal or something. Because then it'll buff us. Ooh. So there was... Uh, how do you make that? Set to straight jump from the top? That's gonna hurt. Can you even survive that? You might be able to survive that. Although, what's the best way to get back up? I guess this way? Hey, there's a turtle here. I mean, we even ran up to this, uh, this cliffside earlier, and decided that we didn't need to do anything here, but there's no way. So how on earth do you make that, then? It doesn't seem possible. Like, from down there, it didn't look possible. And there's an item on it, though. So where would I land? Maybe off of this rock right here. This is as low as we can get. Killed me too, huh? Dang. So how do you make it then? Didn't look like you could do it from down below, but maybe I just didn't try hard enough. I'm trying to think. I don't have any ideas. Like, using one of those is my only idea, but I don't think there's one that's close enough, unless there's one up there. And then you gotta be precise as hell. If there's one up there and you gotta jump all the way down, because you don't take fall damage off of those. But am I maybe just missing something? Is there a cave? Are you still fighting me? No. I feel like maybe there's a cave right there. Yeah, there's a... Pretty sure that... You... <laughs> he really re-aggroed me and then knocked me off the cliff while I was looking. So where the heck does that cave come from, then? Sh 
trying to think. I mean, it could come from up above, and then we'd have no way to know for a while. But if the cave is somewhere around here, then I've missed something, right? Seems like the cave could either be up here... I can't believe he got me like that. And that's a purple item down there. So where the heck... is this cave at? Must be in Kaelid somewhere. But you're telling me that there's such odd level design. You would put items in Limgrave that can only be accessible from a cave in Kaelid? What's up here? This must be the this might be the castle that uh, Alexander Iron Fist Alexander's talking about. It's nowhere near this Gale Tunnel. See, I would think that that is that tunnel is a dungeon and not not a path to get from Kaelid to Limgrave. So that would tell me that I would I should be able to get there right now, but I don't know how. We spend so much time in this game just like seeing an area and or an item and trying to figure out how to get to it. Is this it? Mmm. I think this is it. I can't believe we didn't see this before. I swear I tried going in this corner. I went close to the corner, but I couldn't see this. Must be, right? Like this lines up perfectly? No. What the? What? You're kidding. What the heck is this? Oh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. What on earth is this garbage? I don't even know. Where are we? This is one of these... Is this one of the towers where we unlock the greater runes at? What on earth? Can we teleport out of here, by the way? Yes. Okay, this is this is the secret tunnel. This is this, the sending gate. S stupid. So can we get to this guy? Cause this doesn't seem like an area we're supposed to be. Bestial Sanctum. It's a sight of grace. At least we'll be able to get back here easily. Although you can summon in here, which is concerning. But maybe it's just for outside. Melina doesn't want to talk to us in here. Fair. Okay, you can't lock onto this guy. But you can attack in here, which is odd. So you could just hand over death root to this guy? Hold up. I don't want to I don't know about doing that. Where did we find death root? Here. 
In the distant east collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire plot, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of a demigod. Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree sprouting in the form of death root. So hold up, we can switch actions. Let's talk to him first. Yeah, I agree. Okay, maybe if we feed him a death root. Just one. I smell it. Death. Feed it me. Tarnished. Bring more death. I shall grant thee eye and claw. Claw mark seal as a weapon and a beast eye. It's a key item. This reminds me of the beast transformation from Bloodborne. This thing requires faith. Boosts bestial incantations. Why are there so many cool incantations for faith, but we haven't found crap for int? We just have, like, this staff. Well, we got lucky to find this staff to begin with. And we have, like, all these cool different types of incantations in the faith tree. Seems stupid. Uh, they better even out with sorceries at some point. So what does this thing do? Claw marked stone eye received from Garank, beast clergyman. It is said to tremble when near death root. The murky violet iris writhes as if alive. I am not sated. Feed me more death. Well, we might. I, there doesn't seem to be another point to this item, so. I am not sated. Crazy. Bestial Sling. Wait, what kind? Of, was that a spell? No? Oh, it is a spell. Just in the incantation section instead of the sorcery section. Swiftly flings numerous sharp rocks. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that the... The incantations seem to, to have way more different cool weapons and stuff at the moment than sorceries do. Like, we don't have crap for sorceries. Okay, so we'll save this for another time. We were... I mean, we found the thing, and now it's off the map, which is fine. We are trying to solve this, which I thought that that gate might be it, but it was not. So what now? Now we investigate it a little bit more. Yeah, that's definitely a cave. But where does it come from? Not around here. Oh. Oh, come on, that was close-ish. We can land on this rock right here. Huh? Kind of. Hmm. Oh, that was so close. I don't know if this is how we're supposed to be doing it, but if it works, I will be happy enough. How do I keep sliding off? Dang it. I just need to find like one more place 
that we can grab onto with our horse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Torrent control is so weird. What about this corner? Seems like it could work. You have to jump from a higher spot. No, that's not gonna work. Hmm, maybe if we do more uh, horizontal movement rather than all that vertical movement. What? You like have to do the dash to actually make it that far. I know it's not intended, but my curiosity is peaked and I don't want to just leave. Oh, you could just do that? I guess that makes it simpler. Oh, but if you stop, then you fall. No. For some reason here, he can stay. What? I mean, this doesn't look like much. I don't know why we can stand on this, but we can't stand on that nonsense over there. Oh! That just worked. I have no explanation to you as to why that just worked. Regalia of Eokide? Eokide? Okay, it seems like we're not supposed to be here. So you remember when we were up here? That's got to be way too far away, right? Because we saw like an imp statue thing down there. There's no way it goes all the way. This is imp fog. And there's no way to open it up from here. Gale Cave. Okay, we know where it is now. Okay. We cheated a little bit. Close to I want to know what that weapon was. That seems like that might be my kind of weapon. Is it a straight sword? Is what I think it would be. It is. Requires 15 arcane. And it's... It's got not the greatest scaling, and it does some magic damage, but it kind of looks pretty cool, right? Aokide's Dancing Blade. Treasured, <laughs> treasured Sword of Aokide, a lesser long bank vanished domain. The copper coloration is not to be confused for rust, but is a conduit for its wielder to move it by their will alone. What? Swords of Aokai dance through the skies. That sounds really cool. It also reminds me, is this the sword that they were talking about with the the dancing talisman that we got? Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Charge the attack to increase reach and duration of the spin. Hold up. Is it cheating to use this sword? Wait, it has... Oh, because we can't wield it. We have no scaling at the moment. Okay, just normal longsword stuff at the moment. Can we do the thing? Oh my god. Okay, I am going to get the stats to wield this weapon. This thing is awesome. How much heavier? It's 5.5. How heavy is the katana? Also 5.5. We're going to use that weapon. I know we kind of cheated to get it, but you saw for yourself how to get it. You can do it now, too. Um, oh, yeah, we can wield this thing now. This thing actually would hit really hard. Put us in a heavy load, though. Yeah, I want to use that sword. It looks freaking amazing. And I love straight swords, so that's what I think we're going to be doing. 
so what do I want to do now? Uh, we still got lots of time. Get rid of this marker. We don't need that anymore. So, we explored all of this. We explored all of this. We haven't gone down this hill onto this stuff. So is that next? Get the northern part of this? Because we've been like right here. And we've been here. So I think we just want to get this little area done. And then we'll work on heights thing. Looks like there's something here as well. And maybe here? Anything that looks interesting on the map is usually a location. Although this is probably... These are always just like those tombstones usually where you can loot stuff like where where's an example of them we saw them today already right here those were a bunch of those tombs so yeah i think that's that's the goal we're gonna get this area done and then we'll go from there oh, but we gotta invest so many stats that's seven levels we need just to be able to wield that weapon but I mean, that's that's what this playthrough is going to be, right? We're just going to have a lot of stats. Eventually, we're going to be over-leveled, probably. Because we want to use all the cool stuff. Seven levels. I mean, if we use the greater rune effect, but it's temporary, right? If we die, we lose it. It's not that great. But that sword is so cool. We got to do it. And then... I wonder, let's let's look at Ashes of War with it real quick. Because even though it requires 15 arcane... Ooh. Cannot be given Ashes of War, at least not regular Ashes of War. Alright. And then I wonder, it probably upgrades with the somber stones, right? How many of the somber stones do we have? Not very many, but we also don't know how many it takes to upgrade something. Oh, it's only plus one and then plus two. So maybe it only requires one stone of each, just like these only require one. So we might be able to get it to plus two already. Yeah, that weapon was just sweet. I, I hate that it doesn't do, in, it doesn't scale off of intellect at all. Because Arcane is such a weird stat, right? Because the two casting stats are Intellect and Faith. Arcane is like a third casting stat that is only required usually on things that either require Faith or Intellect. But then for some reason some weapons require Arcane but not Faith or Intellect. It's very odd. Okay. So how do we get there? Probably need to go around. Well, these rocks are jumpable. We haven't been in this area before, so... Let's carefully look. Make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, can't make this, huh? Ah, there is some. What? Being attacked? Human bone shard. Oh, I don't have the thing where critical hits replenish health anymore, right? Even a critical hit on these guys, though, it does not... Uh, I guess we really want the turtle thing. How do we get more talisman slots? Didn't we get a pouch at one point that gave us more talisman slots? We're looking for more of those, because I would love to have some more talismans. I feel like we could have up to five. Well, let's check our inventory. Probably a key item? Tailoring tools... Is it this first thing? No, it's the crafting kit. This right here, talisman pouch. We could have 
two more. We have one of three. So I guess we could have up to four talisman slots. So just like rings in Dark Souls, you can have four rings. Makes sense. I'd love to get more of those, but I have no idea how far away we are from getting that. Okay, so that leads down the heights area. Isn't arcane also the stat that governs... It's like luck. Yeah, it's discovery. Where is item discovery on this screen, by the way? Oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. Yeah, where is item discovery? Oh, right there. Right under poise. It's at 109. So, I mean, having more arcane is just going to be useful in general. Some bears right here. You get backstabs on bears? No. Alright, that bear did not have a very good strategy. He stood up, I walked around him, and then he was like, oh, where'd he go? And then he was dead. So we still need to get this area up here. It's just like a big barren area, huh? One note we haven't used today very much that we usually use a lot is arrows. Actually, in the past few, we haven't really used very many arrows. I was just thinking about it because there's a merchant right there. Okay, usually these poles with the bodies hung up on them have enemies and an item at their feet. Is that the case here? I think I saw some skeletons. Definitely has an item. Not skeletons, dogs. item, now that I picked that one up, I also remember that the item is never worth it. It's always just a rune. Okay, so we fought the bears down there. We need to go here. That seems like a relevant area. And maybe here. And that's it, because we got all this and we fought the bears. Yeah, that should... What about down here? Well, hopefully this will just lead down there with height. So, how do we get down there without dying? Hello, bird. I would like some feathers. We should really craft stuff. We need to look at our crafting menu at some point. Because we have lots of items that we can craft that we've seen the name of but we never investigated the item so I don't really know what half the items we can craft can even do uh oh ouch oh it does heal half of my health so it's just a better than my well my crimson flask now that we upgraded it might be a little bit better we'll see how long this buff lasts So 
Yeah, we want to drop right here, I think. Buff is still going. I would have expected it to have stopped. That's probably... Like a two minute long buff, maybe? I don't know, I didn't look at the clock at all for it, so... Have we been down there? Yeah, we must have, because that's how we got to the catacombs. More bears. Why are there so many bears around here? We want to get over there. Let's go fight these bears. Also, it's not helping them that they bleed after two hits to my katana. Oh, hello. The damage buff is still going. Is this like a five minute buff or something? Like, what the heck? It's definitely been going more than two minutes now, right? It said it, I thought it said for a short time. I like how you can see the, the shadow of the statue. I even have shadows turned to low, I think. And it's still like very uh, descriptive. Which reminds me, I could probably turn everything back up. The reason I turned stuff to low was because I was like, ah, shoot, it's causing stutters, but I think it's just the PC version is unoptimized and it's going to stutter anyways. So I think we might be able to just turn it back up to what it was at, which was all high. But it doesn't matter that much. The game looks good either way. This buff is still going. We're about to be at like three minutes, I think. Granted, that was me looking at the clock, like, part of the way through. Yeah, these guys are a three-shot with the damage buff and the non-discovery bonus. I'm trying to get these stupid... The damage buff is gone. Okay, so... Three or four minutes. Somewhere in that range. I'm, like I said, I'm unsure because I didn't look at the clock originally, but... You could probably time it on the video. Okay, there is a side of grace over there with it, that building. I want a second to look at my map. Stupid dragonflies. I wish they would like at least fight you or something. All they do is run away and stop you from using your map. And then sometimes they're hittable. Is that an NPC in there? Smithing stone? Or gold tinged excrement? Oh no, it's a painting. Artist's shack. Do we need to... Jesus! I was gonna say, do we need to rest? Um, I mean, it'd be nice to get my wondrous thing back. Let's see. Does this area look familiar? It's under that big bridge. Homing Incident Painting. So what I'm thinking is it can see one of the big trees. I want to say it's under this somewhere. Well, maybe not because maybe it's because this is the only nearby big tree. I 
Oh, that's the wrong one. It's so small in this picture. Didn't we have a better picture? While we're actually looking at it? The work of a wandering artist, reminiscence of a painting titled Homing Instinct. This painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. I don't know where that is. This is a much better picture, by the way, to look at it like this rather than through the thing in your inventory. I don't know why. Am I missing something about the inventory to make it bigger? Because it seems like that's a really bad picture. But we tried with the first picture. I couldn't figure out how to... If I simple view it, it gets rid of all that. I can only change... Like, that's not very good. Wish I could, like, use it and just have it, like, take up my entire screen or whatever. Whatever. Can't figure it out. If someone knows, you can let me know, but... For now, I can't figure it out. So. I guess we'll explore the rest of this over here. Before we go back down here. That's just going to be a drop-off down in there. Yeah, and there's more of those things. So we'll go investigate those after we finish this area. Wait, where's the... It's weird. It seems like there should be something here. See, I was going for this for the artist shack, but it's like slightly north of that picture, which is odd. And I guess it doesn't have to line up perfectly. It is just a map. Maps aren't always perfect. But in games, you kind of expect them to be, which is an odd expectation, I guess. What's going on here? Those guys are fighting me, huh? Why? Okay. There we go. So we're back to where we've been before. Guess we'll go right here, check if there's anything, and then back up here, get all this stuff, and then we'll be done. Lots to do. I hear a beetle. There. The beetles can't see you on this side, but they see you on the other side. Oh! Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Once I was like, what the heck is going on? Then I was like, that thing's gonna explode. So anything on here? We already have that side of grace, right? Yep. So I don't really want to jump down there because I don't think we can get back up here. That seems to be it. So let's go over here, head down to where Height is. And then in the next episode, I guess we'll be clearing out this East Limgrave area. 
And then uh, after that, oh, I mean, this area is big though. Like, what did we explore today? We literally explored like this and this, <laughs> which is not a lot compared to this. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. And then we're probably moving on to this peninsula. Maybe I'll start with doing the boss in this area. But this seems like it might be the second main boss, because it's the second time we have Guidance, right? Because we fought one main boss up here, and it had Guidance up to him. And there's... We know that there's a boss in Kaelid. I'm not sure if they told us there's a boss down here. But there is Guidance for it. Huh. Interesting. Why are the bears not here? Oh, we didn't rest. That's what. That, that big Erd tree is still crazy to me. We didn't even visit the small Erd tree yet. Which is right here. And there's another one here. And there's another one here, which we kind of visited. Oh. It turned out that it wasn't accessible from up top. You had to go down below, which we didn't want to do quite yet. So is this safe? This doesn't seem very safe. It's even more difficult since it's dark. Well, there's kind of like a little bit of help to get down right here. And then more help right here, it seems. That's too much. Oh, we're okay, though. I mean, we've been here before, so we know why you can summon spirits. Unless there's another enemy, like, in this small area. And then I wonder when we should go fight, uh... Like, the guy in the Everjail, and then we found another one of him. Ooh, this does have enemies. Oh, no it doesn't. That's just a purple item. I thought that was a dude. It's a, it's a dude with an item, though. Not a dude who couldn't fight. So this was worth it. I thought that maybe these would never be worth it. But we gotta, like, jump up on top of this to get the item. Fervor's Cookbook, number one. I haven't found any of those yet. Where were cookbooks again? Here. A sleep pot. St. Trina, he continued to search for her in his slumber. Why, so... I assume that means that the Trina's lilies are going to be used to make that item. That's not a cave right there, right? It's kind of dark. We need to... Hold up. Yeah, here we go. Wield our torch on horseback so we can see a little bit better. Oh, I thought that was a cave. Okay, so this is just that on the other side of that. We could have made it here by doing that. So I guess that was the simple way to get here, was those stepping stones. It's the last time we used the stepping stones to go that way. Oh, that's just a red beetle. And that's the church right there, yep. So we've done a good deal of exploration around here now. We'll get the other little bit of this plateau, but I think there's nothing over here. I think it's too small to actually house anything. And we made it up there last time we were down here, in this part of the neighborhood. Oh, 
Hello, Mr. Height. What are you waiting for? My food. Okay, yeah, whatever. So I guess we'll start at this outskirts next time? Or should we start here and go south? That actually makes a lot of sense. Because we've already gone this path. No need to just travel through the forest. I think we'll start at the church. And go south, follow the road. And then maybe after we've followed the road, we'll explore everything else? Kind of hard to know what order to f explore stuff in, you know? We also want to go along the beach. Maybe the beach will be the first thing that we do. We could actually maybe even do the beach right now. I don't think the beach will connect, because it seems to be on a cliffside. Uh, I'm going to wait till daytime so I can see better. Past time. Till morning. I mean, I prefer, like, noon. Because morning's still a little bit dark, but it'll be okay. Yeah, it's actually really dark over here on this side of the world. Uh, even in the morning. Like, look at this. Is that just because it's foggy, or what the heck's going on here? What was that noise? This crab? Oh! There was a little crab that came up, and then there was a big crab. We're killing you, by the way, dude. Okay. Yeah, he did not like me saying that. Oh, I should have used the other flask. Okay, get me off of Torrent. This is not working. Yeah, 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 whatever. You're pretty easy, actually. Crab eggs. Did we kill you? You did nothing wrong, I'm sorry. That's how it goes sometimes. That was another big crap. Let's get him with the jump. Oh, he tried to grab me. Ow! Okay, I've made errors, I would argue. Oh, that's nice. All right, you are a jerk. Ow. I'm surprised he lived that hit. It looked like he was dead. All right. You guys are really attacking me. Come on. Let's be reasonable here. Oh, that guy was not attacking. <laughs> you can tell that someone wasn't attacking you if you attack them and you do bonus damage to them. Because that means they didn't know you were... Or, like, you got the un unaware bonus. Yeah, that second crab was not hostile. Is that all that's on these stupid beaches? Is these dang old crabs? I'm done with it already. All right, I'm I'm upset. Oh, we got in his blind spot because he was stuck on top of the rocks. He had no way to hit us. Grab eggs. Alright, well, this wasn't worth it at all. But now we know. So yeah, I think we're gonna follow the road next time. And we'll we'll definitely stop at this and this and see if those are anything. And I mean, I'm going to want to walk along this wall, because we've been all the way up here, right? We walked along this up up here. I want to walk along it down here now, see if there's any dungeons and stuff. It looks like there's more tombs over here. And we got to get to the castle and take it back for height. 
Um, but let's go back to the church. I guess we just teleport. And we'll follow the road in the next one. I think that's pretty reasonable. I'm pretty excited about that weapon. Don't think I forgot about it, but we're just not making enough money to actually get it. What was it called again? Regalia of Yokai. Well, I'm excited to use that. We'll rest up, get our flasks back for the next one, and then we'll be following that road. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, honestly, the most notable thing that happened was getting that weapon, and we figured out how to jump up that rock. It was kind of like a complex maneuver of just dashing with Torrent at the right time, and it just happened to like run him up the cliff and then make it really easy even though it looked like it was impossible at first it just kind of worked all of a sudden so it's definitely possible to do we did it and it seems like you aren't supposed to get that weapon until you start exploring Kalid. so that's pretty cool and i think we'll try and use that weapon um hopefully it's actually good it seems really cool so and it's a straight sword i love straight swords but anyways that's gonna do it for this one hopefully you enjoyed and i will see you next time